Hi there, this is my lock and uh, this is a parcel that had actually arrived yesterday um, but it dropped down behind the door and was pushed up against the wall and I didn't actually see it until I was leaving the house this morning. It's from uh, Rob Lawn, so thank you for that buddy, I really appreciate this. Um, now he, he's, he's given me a little challenge, this is a, a lock without a key and uh, he's challenged me to pick it in three days. So uh, I was going to try a first out of packet pick attempt, um, but I didn't realize what it was this morning when I was leaving the house. And in a hurry, I just uh, opened the box and, uh, and unwrapped it. So uh, yeah, I haven't picked it yet, but uh, this is the, uh, the lock. It's a, an Avis 9050 Titanium. And there we go. So uh, now these uh, these abuses can be can be tricky. I've got a a rock here that remains unpicked. And it's the one I swapped with uh, with Dan McAleer. Um, I swapped him an, an unpickable uh, <laughs> an unpickable abus rock for another unpickable uh, abus rock. So we'll uh, we'll give this one a, a wee try. We'll uh, start off with top of the key with tension, and uh, I'll give it ten minutes or so for my first attempt. And then, uh, so we've got a click from three, one springy, two springy, three, four, five. Not really feeling five. Start again. Mm, strange feeling. Almost feels uh, like quite dry and sticky. Yeah, not sticky, but. Pin one looks like quite a long key, key pin. So. Click from three.
Yeah, we'll probably just add music on this while I'm working away at it. Um, one, two. Uh, might actually give it a little, give it a little spray. So why you want style QA so Oh, I know something else that needs a little bit of lubrication. Cheers folks. Yeah, okay, admitting defeat. There we go. So, uh, Rob, your, uh, your Abus 9050 has defeated me on the first attempt. Um, yeah, this one's going to be a challenge. So, cheers for the luck again. And, uh, yeah, I'll uh, I'll have another go, another go at it tomorrow. Well, after that... Uh, Mammoth failed picking a tent. I took a break and uh, while I was catching up with some YouTube videos, I picked up the lock and uh, I was picking it in hand and managed to get the open. Now, I said it felt dry and it certainly did. Uh, looks like there was dust and caked up old oil in there. And uh, yeah, it just felt. In fact, that's that's some of the dust that came out of it there. It's like a almost like a clay paste. Um, after I dismantled um, the lock, uh, I mean, I did. It, it felt it felt weird. It felt scritchy. It's. Uh, yeah. But after I got it, I, I noticed there's quite a lot of uh, of um, yeah, I don't know how to describe that uh, butchery of the the core there. What I think's probably happened. It was only pinned to five as well, but I have uh, I've found another another couple of pins that are the right diameter or close enough. Uh, to pin up six. So what I think's probably happened there is uh, somebody has gutted this lock and had a gutting disaster. They've probably had to force the lock 
back round. So this is the this is the lock body there. And it's got this little pin that pops out. Um, so if that pin, if you rotate it this way and the pin pops up into those uh, those driver holes there, those driver chambers, it's yeah, it's good night. But I think he's or somebody's had a a gatting disaster, like a standard one, and maybe had to force the the lock back round, damaging one side or the other of this uh, of these chambers, and then he's uh, he's taken a a drill bit and tried to clean up the damage, but he's he's filed away quite a bit. So that's why it felt strange, strange to pick. Um, the counter rotation wasn't smooth, and it just it just felt really weird. Um, but I've, I've, like I say, I've laid out the pins. I found an extra spring. Um, the spring's a little bit, a little bit stronger than the the, the standard, but it doesn't matter. I'll put it in chamber one with the uh, with the standard or the lightly serrated uh, I've made a key for it now to make the key I've got the hack um, plug holder and I've just put the plug in there put the blank key in and with the uh, this handy uh, deep hole marking marking pen. I've just gone in and I have carefully marked where these uh, chambers are, just to get the spacing. Um, and then you you you. You take your, your round file and you just make a, a small mark and then uh, put it back in there and just look down through the uh, through the hole there just to make sure your mark is in the right place and then uh, then you file to a suitable depth for each of these uh, key pins. Now it looks a bit weird of course it's not going to sit flush because uh, there's been so much taken away there. But that's when this uh, plug holder comes in handy. If uh, if it will slide under there without without catching, it should do the same in here. So I did that for all six all six pins until I finally got them all sitting sitting at the shear line but like I say it's uh, you've got to be careful with this damage it's quite difficult to uh, to tell when they're at the shear line so I'm going to repin now I've tested all these uh, I've tested all these individually and put one key pin in at a time, put the corresponding spring and driver in there, put it back together and check that the key works. So I've done that for all of these pins so hopefully when the whole lock is, uh, is assembled it will work fine again. I will pause the video and I will see you again when I've got the core reconstructed. Back in a moment.
looks rough, but hopefully it'll work. And so it's like that. If I can get that in there. There we go. That pin should hopefully hold it in the locked position and test the key. So we're going from locked to unlocked. So that's good. There we go. And uh, there we are. So, oh, right. I will. Uh, I will end the video there. The core is working. I will reassemble the lock, give it a bit of an oil, and then I'll try and pick it again. So, yep. Oh yeah, again, this is the Abus 9050 Titanium, all put back together, um, with its working key. And, uh, Pinned back up to six. So, can I? Uh... You can hear those pins in there. Uh, I'm not going to get it after I pick it. Um, I've been picking and taking this lock apart for a couple of days now. And uh, yeah, so I just can't be bothered taking that plug out and taking it apart again. Oh, and uh, yeah, I'm going to pick it with the Sparrow's Eurohook in 25th out. Um, so I'd like to say thank you to Rob Lon for, for this lock and uh, and the challenge that he sent me. It's uh, It's been a nice little, nice little week game project. So, pin one, we get a click and a little turn on the core let's uh, see if that camera will focus so pushing in past pins two and three I felt a little bit more movement there uh, so it's pin six at the back if I can get onto it there we go so you get a click a bit of counter click and back into a wee full set five we get the same Four, I just touched and we get a little little movement. Three oh come off it. Uh, three two get the click on two. Feels like three's dropped again. So if I leave it up three a wee touch and we get a bit more movement, so three again. Good first set there. Two. Mm -hmm. Four, three. There we go. That was uh, three. We get a wee click, wee movement. A little bit more there. And <laughs> Keep doing it. He's off slightly. I'm back. So partially reset there. There we go. Pin four, I think, was the final final one so there we go the abus 9050 titanium with the damaged plug um, there's nothing i can do about the the countersinking and filing on on the plug um, i'm pretty sure a previous owner did that um, because he had uh, a gang disaster and had the plug stuck in the uh, in the core, or half in, half out of the core. So yeah, big thanks to Rob. 
fun little project for the week. And uh, yeah, they, um, that's the thing with, you know, although it's damaged and although it doesn't pick the same as a, as a normal Avis 9050, um, when you're picking it, there's a little, I don't know how to describe it, uh, scritchiness, <laughs> scratchy scritchiness. It's just, you still get, you know, a little bit of uh, feedback and some counter rotation from it, so it's still a good pick. Um, yeah, uh, but you know, if you're if you're picking a lock in the wild, um, you never know what you're going to get when you put your pick in one of these things. So, you know, it's uh, it all adds up to a bit of experience. There we go. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one.